Okay, this is the eBay site for uh, the uh, program where you'll need to reprogram the EEPROM chip. And I'm doing a 2011 Chevy Volt. Um, it comes with, this is the one I got, it comes with all the stuff that you're going to need. I'll uh, show you the setup. And then when it's assembled, change the lens. The the this this here goes all the way uh, to the end. There's actually two uh, two places where you can plug it in, but in this instance, it goes to the end. You see the one where it faces and the red cable, that's important, okay? That's the EEPROM chip right there. There's the EEPROM chip that we're going to connect to. Okay, let me get it set up. Something else is, uh, see where that number one is next to the chip? That's the number one location, and this cable, this side here, it goes to the number one where that red uh, uh, wire is. Okay, got the, I got the, I've got that on the chip, and. That's plugged into the PC. I also use these so I can see what I'm doing. Because I'm freaking. Okay. After you download the, the AS programmer, it will be in um, C Windows. Um, Program Files, AS Programmer, come on, and you go to, where's the, is that it right there, yep, that's it, and that's the Programmer, and see if I can remember what chip that is, it is a, 12C, 24, and I believe 16. And we want to go to read IC. Oh, hardware, I need to do that first. That's the CH341A. That's the programmer we're using. Let's see if it'll read it. Okay, let me check what's wrong. Okay, the problem was the clip wasn't on there good. Anyway, I'm, I, I clicked uh, right here to read the chip. So this information I don't really need, but I'm gonna save it. And I'll call this uh, Two oh one one um, dash two. Okay, save. Now I want to open a file and I'll go to two thousand eleven data. That's the one for my car. Open. And let me check. Okay, I checked it. That is my VIN number. So now we'll just go. Program IC. Program.
verify IC I guess and we'll check the and we're gonna read it make sure that's the same and it is so that's it it's done so now I can unplug all this stuff I'm gonna chip and plug this um, now it should read the uh, odometer should work um, I'll leave a couple of links in the description for where to get that uh, AS programmer um, software and there's also a couple drivers that you'll need too I think for the for this uh, piece of equipment right here so I'll leave the link for that in there but that's pretty much it the this here is a 2011 you'll notice that I have there's another one and here's another one and then I have my original one out in the car um, I thought I could do 2014 ones but apparently you can't because they have a different circuit board in them so I think, I'm not sure, but I think 2011 and 2012 use this circuit board. So those are the ones you'll have to get. Uh, as far as reprogramming the uh, EEPROM chip, um, they're all the same. So even, uh, even the later ones. Um, so you can reprogram them, uh, but you have to use that, uh, uh, what, the GDS2, uh, uh, software to reprogram it from GM and you have to pay them well, 45 bucks I guess for their access to files for your car and uh, anyway that's a a lot of guys use a VCX Nano I got the MDI the MDI 2 clone GM MDI 2 clone is what I got but uh, anyway I couldn't get these to program because they're too new so I got I just got this one. So anyway, all I changed on it was the um, this EEPROM chip. I think I'm gonna have trouble with park assist warning because uh, my car doesn't have park assist. But that's okay. I'm I'm not gonna try to reprogram this after I mess these two up. So anyway, that's it. Okay. So the when you download this and. Um, I think it's a zipped file so when you unzip it it will install it in Windows C uh, program files and then this is the file you click on to start the program and right up here you got to go to 12C and you go 24 and you go down it's the 16 is the one you want and then you go to hardware. This is the one we're using. CH341A, I guess it said. And then uh, I don't have it hooked up, but if you were going to uh, read an EEPROM chip, you would click this where it says read IC. And then this field here will get filled out. But instead, I'm going to go to Open File, Open, and that's what it'll look like once you read that. You uh, read the IC, and say this is just say, uh, okay, we'll say this is the one. So then you would go back once you read it. You can save this with this save file feature. And I've already got that one saved, so I'm not gonna save it again. And once you save it, then you go to open file, like I just did, and you'll open whichever one, like this is the one for my car. And you'll open that. And then you would go to here, and it says program IC. And you'll just go like that and you'll see a green line across here 
and it'll uh, when it's done and it's loaded and then you can go back to here and read it and make sure it's it's uh, uh, has the right information there and then that's you're all done with that When you, when you go to uh, install this or take it out, it's got uh, four seven millimeter hex bolts, one here, one there, and one down underneath here and one over there. And then it's got, I don't know you can see, it's got a clip here and it's got another one like that on the other side, two here. And when I took it out, I used one of these to get between there and pop it because it spreads the load over a bigger area. And I think I did it down here first, if I remember correctly. I don't think it matters whether you pop the top or the bottom first. But that's it. And you can see my odometer is working now because I did that uh, EEPROM chip. So that's it. See ya. This is a Chevy Volt Gen 1 instrument cluster. For people that haven't been able to see that clip really good, this is the main plug. When you're, uh, once you get the four screws out, get the bezel off and the four screws out, then you have to undo this clip. And it's got a little retainer part right here. So all you have to do is get something in here and just pop that up. And then once you pop that up, you can reach in here and flip that up and that'll unplug it. And to plug it back in, you just reverse that, put it in, push that back down, lock it in, and that's done. Anyway, this cluster I just bought came with the plug so I could show that. That's one of the things I was worried about breaking is this plug. But just pop it up like that. And that's it.